Speak Student. Features of a Shakespearean tragedy, Alashma. You've had an absolutely wonderful day. The sun is shining brightly. You have your health, and you've witnessed no betrayals, murders, or suicides in the past few hours. Sounds like you could use something to bring you down a bit. Can we interest you in a Shakespearean tragedy? Do you need more tragedy in your life? No. Yeah, Billy Shakes tragedies are big old downers. Hardly anyone makes it out of them alive, and sometimes those who do don't really deserve to, or wish they had. I enjoy killing people. But we don't just read or watch them to become horribly, painfully depressed. That's just a side benefit. I'm enjoying myself, really. In tragedy, we can learn a lot about ourselves as human beings. Or as sprites, or pixies, or whatever you happen to be. Hey, listen. By examining the darkest depths of human nature, <laughs> we can learn what leads people to sometimes take such dire, drastic measures, and hopefully、uh, not go there ourselves. Uh, wanna go to lunch? One of the dreariest and most famous of Shakespeare's tragedies is Macbeth. She scares me. Trust us, you don't want to go through the drive-through at Macbeth. They will not give you a happy meal. Oh, gross! Let's take a look at what Shakespearean elements of tragedy pop up in this one. First, you've got your serious or somber theme. The characters aren't spending a Sunday afternoon at a water park reminiscing about good times and talking about how much they love one another. Instead, the play is all about what causes people to commit evil acts, like murder. I heard voices. Could be those long lines at the water park.、Uh, you never know. Shakespeare's tragedies also feature a character with a major flaw. Hello, Macbeth. Ambition is all well and good, but stabbing everyone in your path isn't really the way to get ahead in life. Not to mention that it's really going to dull your new set of Ginsu knives. Did you just stab me? Then we've got a protagonist who is destined for a downfall. And it's not just because he's wearing those non-padded slippers. Three witches tell Mackie B that he's going to be king. Although he's the one who comes up with the hack and slash approach to snagging the throne, the entire time we watch him creating more and more havoc, we can just sense that it's going to end badly for him. Finally, death, the long goodbye, the final summons, the shuffling off of the mortal coil. To put in terms Shakespeare would understand, you can't have a Shakespearean tragedy without death, and lots of it. He didn't believe in characters being left with their thoughts to suffer and wallow in misery. Nope, they pretty much had to kick the bucket. We won't tell you who or how many die, mainly because it would take all day. Just don't get too attached to anyone.、Uh, that's all we'll say. You're my only friend. My mom says you're dangerous. Do you need more tragedy in your life? No.